It says in Psalm 22 and verse 3 that when we praise God, we prepare a throne for him. Psalm 22 and verse 3. Thou art holy, O you who are enthroned upon the praises of Israel. The praises of God's people make a throne. God is not a cheap king to sit on a throne of gold. No, no, no. Gold is cheap. They walk on it in heaven. The streets are made of gold. And to make a throne of gold for God is like taking tar. In the, in the world, tar, the streets are tarred. To make a throne out of tar, it's all pretty sticky. God's not going to sit on a throne like that. You know what's the only worthy throne for God? If you really say you're my king. If God is your king, there'll be a throne in your life for him. And that throne is the spirit of praise. Lord, I praise you for who you are. I praise you that you defeated Satan on the cross. I know a hundred prayers of mine are not answered yet. It doesn't matter. I still praise you. So what if my prayers are not answered? God is still on the throne. Does that make any difference? Just because your prayers are not answered, does it mean God vacated his throne? No, he didn't. Does it mean Satan is not defeated? Of course he's defeated. He, long ago he was defeated. So to praise God is for who he is. Irrespective of whether he did something for us or not, or answered our prayer or not, he is still God. He's the creator of this universe. And we need to recognize him as God. And we make a throne for him when we praise him. 